Hey everyone, it's uh, Basic Sorgonomics for this March 27th, 2015. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is where this lives on kind of a bloggy blog kind of thing. Uh, and I'm coming off of uh, doing a uh, special event that we did last night in uh, conjunction with the uh, Journal of Lifestyle Medicine.com as well as the Integrative, Medi Integrative Medical Professionals uh, Meetup Group. Um, it was a uh, presentation on podcasting for practitioners, and it was good because uh, uh, Sven Hosford, uh, you know, pictured here if you're uh, on the video version of this, um, is uh, the proprietor of trying to build something really cool over the Journal of Lifestyle Medicine, and part of it is that meetup group and getting some people around and talking about things and getting these people that are doing, you know, various things around integrative medicine. I mean, everything from yoga to acupuncture to 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 psychiatrists to to uh, masseuses and and, uh, and and alternative doctors that that aren't crazy alternative doctors actually kind of sciencey based um, all kind of getting together um, and we kind of wanted to talk about what we're doing with podcasting some of the cool things we did because we actually recently had a couple of videos that did pretty tremendous um, to the effect that uh, there, there was two videos in particular. Uh, one was um, one was for for a, a couple um, that uh, on paper didn't look like it did too well, and just an interview we did with them over Google Hangouts, and it got like 40 views. It's probably a little higher now, uh, but it started with about 40 v views, and um, and still got like multiple clients for them. Versus another one we did uh, talking with Noreen McGinnis about some uh, function called uh, uh, Ad. Ad avatar avatar um which got spread out on the avatar mailing list and, and all this stuff like it's all the big ones and got 1500 hits and a great response and some of the quotes out of it are really kind of resonating with people and uh and, and pushing along um so you know some really cool stuff if you want to check out those videos uh they're over on uh lifestyle uh, journal of lifestyle medicine.com and hit up the hit up the uh youtube channel over there so uh, going to last night, I thought it was a really good time. Um, I thought it was a really good time that that, that uh, really good conversations that we had uh, sitting up there at Rollins. It's a seafood grill actually in the strip. Really nice place. Uh, devastating uh, uh, fireplace and everything. Uh, let me see. If I'm gonna find my little tour video that I did last night real quick on Twitter. Um, but uh, but no, yeah, real spiffy place. Uh, and a uh, big projector in a room and everything like that. So it was really cool to kind of get together with uh, those people. Do I think we had about seven people show up for this thing, um, which is uh, you know pretty much along the lines of what we expected. Um, and, and they arranged a whole whole what they arranged a good variety of things. And actually, Susan who Susan Rose who joined us previously on the awesome cast talking about Linux uh, Ohio Linux Fest. Uh, was there and she has a lot of stuff kind of in this field that she works with too. I uh, had a fellow come that is actually a, a wedding DJ and a well, party DJ, you know, all that stuff. And uh, But he was more of a tech guy and uh, he actually had already been playing with Hangouts a little bit and talking about things. Um, so uh, really good to connect with them and a couple other people. I talked to with one person about, uh, afterwards about um, you know, using our DSLR and how some of the best practices on how to use that and got to break out a little bit of Final Cut, but it was a lot of fun. It was a whole lot of fun. And we, we uh, again, playing with the technology that we're speaking of, uh, we got to do things like uh, we threw up a Google Hangout while we're going is uh, it just made sense. You know, let's use the tools that we're just dis we're discussing and uh, people were able to join us live. This is a first for me. Somebody joined us live on the Hangout initially, and I started early. I didn't realize we we're going to have like about an hour of uh, just kind of schmoozing uh, going on before we actually hit the presentation. Um, and somebody was watching and decided it looked like so much fun they were going to come down because they were basically, I guess, lived in the neighborhood or something and actually stopped in physically um, uh, on top of it. And it was a very open event, so it wasn't, you know, that was, that was really, really cool that we were able to do that. Um, and uh, it was good. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, I have a lot of fun with these kinds of things. I, I typically, I, I, I don't like slideshows. I'm, I'm more of an off-the-cuff person. So uh, I was just like, ah, just give me some time. And I just kind of uh, went into it. I mean, this is one of those things where it's like, hey, I want you to talk about podcasting. I'm like, cool. 
Just give me an hour. I'll talk about podcasting. And I'll tell you everything I know about podcasting. <laughs> everything I think is fun about podcasting. Or about Google Hangouts in particular. Like, check out all the stuff you can do with Google Hangouts. Um, that's kind of what I do. And people seem to enjoy it. People like, I like, got, you know, some, some okay compliments out of it. So, um, no, a lot of fun. Um, and, and really great to kind of get along with the people out there. Um, and, and, and I like these events are coming up and, and it looks like there's going to be more opportunities to kind of get out there and talk with people in the future. Um, I, know, probably, I don't know if half the people, half the place is going to be as nice as this. So, um, so definitely stay tuned with that. Um, this is going to be a monthly series with uh, journal of lifestyle medicine. He's doing, um, not necessarily going to be social media. I don't think every month, but he's trying to get, uh, that community together and get everybody going with, you know, with that and, and just have a regular meeting kind of kind of happen um, you know it, it was a lot of fun to go and talk about exactly what we're doing with this and 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 you know my message is still the same uh as when i talked about social media a couple of weeks ago uh here on this podcast was uh putting that out there that hey any well, a couple of things one hey anything anybody can do it uh anybody can start anybody and i showed them like here even just go into youtube hit record here try it uh, I give them ten, the 10 podcast re rule we have, which is make sure you get 10 shows out on a regular schedule or however you want to do it and and just kind of roll with it before like even you put it out maybe. And also it does not need to be perfect. You're using whatever tools you have at hand. Maybe you maybe you went and bought the $80 camera that I suggested or the $50 mic, you know, but still even that it's like you don't have to be perfect. You're like, well, it's not what I'm used to seeing on TV. Well, they have a lot more money than you. So. You know, experiment with it. Some people, some people, especially when you're talking about YouTube and stuff, are very forgiving. Some people just are okay with videos like this that I did on my phone, and get a, and it gets a response. You know, uh, I got at least one favorite out of this thing. This is something I filmed in, I think, Snapchat, and I busted out into Instagram and and Twitter. You know, and that's the other thing: the the ability to reuse a lot of these things. Um, I really push the idea that you go, okay, you go and film a video. And maybe you did a, a, a half an hour video with somebody, you know, it's an interview, you know, some other practitioner that's along your same wavelength and you have a good discussion. Well, now you can use that and you can take that video and, uh, uh, you know, one, you can boil it down into clips and you can put little snippets of it over on Instagram or Twitter video now, um, or just make smaller clips for, you know, maybe two minute clips with uh, some really high points out of it and put that on YouTube. And that's more discoverable on YouTube for being a shorter video because uh, people will see 30 minutes in a video and be like, oh, moving on, you know, or they're not even going to stick around for a few minutes to get to the juicy parts. One of the videos, the one that had about 1500 hits, um, there's a, and this is a question I brought up in it. And I was like, well, okay. So, so the big quote in it was this, uh, uh, it's not woo woo. It's wow. Wow. Uh, talking about this, this type of medicine that they were, that they were discussing. And I'm like, well, hey, how long, how far into would you say that that was into the interview? And he's like, well, it was about, you know, th 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 two, two thirds, you know. I was like, yeah, it was about half an hour. I was like, so, so 20 minutes in the video, you got to the juicy part. How many people do you think actually got to that? Um, you know, again, engagement, really low on a video that long. But if you take that clip, now you've got that thing that would have hooked more people right up front, available. Um, and either it pushes them to more of the video or it pushes them straight to where you want them to go, the product, the site, the event, whatever the, the, the case was, um, I guess you get to do a little more fun with that. That's, that's one thing I've been experimenting with, uh, with my short videos. I, I talked about this week on awesome cast of clips going around, um, talking about clamor, which is 18 second clips. That's all the app does, but I've been getting some reaction from it i haven't been able to see click throughs or anything like that their stats their stats aren't exactly there yet to figure out what what's going on there i just have likes and plays but um but still that's something that makes it more findable on these different formats and then so you can boil it down to instagram the other thing is 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 turning it around and and um you know you you have a topic you know we talked about this woo-woo silence right and what if there's a story that comes out uh, two months from now and you're like oh we talked about that exact thing uh, but you know, with a new spin on the context, you take that video, you put it in uh, in a blog post, say, uh, with a new copy to talk about. Hey, we talk, okay, so this happened. Uh, this is in the news, and we talked about exactly this three months ago. Oh, one, you can be like, hey, look how far ahead of the curve we were, which seemed to be a trend that's happening uh, with my work with Journal and a lot of these practitioners. 
because you're hearing about all these uh, health and science studies. You know, they're like, well, we believe you do this, this, and this, you'll have a healthier life. And then they come out in some important science journal on your evening noon and say, hey, you know, if you eat more chocolate, it's actually better for you. Yeah, that was actually a story from the journal this week. Um, it, it, it's not as... It's not as simple as that. That sounds, of course. You just you have to read into it. Um, but still, it's like, hey, you know, this is what we were talking about. And look who confirmed it. Some of the big wigs, you know. And now you can say, here's us talking about that, you know, exact thing way before any of these guys were. Um, and I think that's very important. It re kind of reinforces the points, gives people a face, you know. Uh, I do these videos, and you know, hopefully that means, you know, when I get clients and stuff, they're like, oh, I completely know you from doing this, uh, your, your podcast all the time, you know, and I know what you're talking about and stuff, you know, and, and, and that's been a lot of fun, you know. For me, then I got a stranger on the other end that's calling, that, that I'm doing a Google Hangout with that uh, wants, wants to discuss some business, and they know so much about me and not on the other side, so <laughs> that's another interesting aspect going on with that. Um, but no, a lot of fun. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Rollins. Uh, our great, great waitress took care of us all night out there uh, for in such a, a, a tremendous place. And uh, uh, Sven for putting up together uh, such a great event. And uh, I know there's going to be plenty, plenty more of these to come. If you want to check it out, I want to be, uh, I recorded the video independently. I want to check out the footage to see if it's decent enough uh, to post uh, because it was kind of like camera off in the corner since I was busy doing the presentation. Um, but uh, we're going to put that together in some shape or form. I'm going to put the presentation and talk up on YouTube so you guys can check out. Um, please go to sign up for my newsletter. Um, I'll actually, uh, today I'll be working on it, uh, my kind of favorite of the week uh, kind of stuff. Uh, so go sign up at sorgatron.com. And uh, right on the left there is a little sign-up form for the creator's newsletter for Sorgatron Media. Again, if you're on the other one, we're splitting them off. Uh, the wrestling newsletter, uh, or the previous newsletter, is more just going to be the wrestling stuff with IndieWrestling.us and the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And then this new one is going to be talking about this kind of stuff that I didn't talk about this morning. And, uh, and everything else kind of behind the scenes and going on. And, uh, and, and good discussions happening across the Sorgatron Media Network. So until next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.